We are a way for the cosmos to know itself. Carl Sagan dreamed up the Voyager mission, a message in a bottle cast into the cosmic ocean. In 1977, we launched two small spacecraft carrying our hopes, dreams, and music, our silent ambassadors to the stars. Voyager is more than technology, it's a symbol of our curiosity, our desire to know what lies beyond. Our message, our story continues, out there, in the great unknown. In 1977 Voyager began a once-in-a-lifetime journey. A rare planetary alignment led its slingshot from Jupiter to Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. Voyager revealed Jupiter's raging storms and volcanic moons, rewriting our textbooks. Saturn's rings dazzled, and new moons were found. Voyager 2 alone reached Uranus and Neptune, unveiling their mysteries. The Grand Tour changed our view of the cosmos forever. And Voyager's journey into the unknown continues. In the 1970s, NASA built Voyager, robust, simple, and powered by nuclear energy, to last for decades in deep space. But its most famous cargo is the Golden Record, a time capsule of Earth's sounds, music, and greetings. Voyager's Golden Record is our message in a bottle, a symbol of hope and curiosity, reaching out to the cosmos. The original mission was to study the outer planets, but Voyager kept going. After their planetary encounters, the probes began a new mission, the Voyager Interstellar Mission. Their goal was to reach the edge of the sun's influence, the heliopause, where the solar wind gives way to the interstellar medium. No one knew exactly where this boundary was or what it would be like. Voyager was going to find out. For years, the probes traveled through the outer reaches of the heliosphere, sending back data about cosmic rays and magnetic fields. In 2012, Voyager 1 detected a sharp increase in high-energy cosmic rays and a drop in low-energy particles. It had crossed the heliopause. Voyager 1 became the first human-made object to enter interstellar space. This was a monumental achievement, direct measurements from the space between the stars. Voyager 1 was our first scout in this new frontier, tasting the interstellar winds and feeling the galaxy's magnetic fields. Six years later, Voyager 2 followed its twin across the boundary. Now, two observers in this strange new place, providing even more valuable data. The probes were never designed for this, they were built to last five years but have operated for nearly five decades. They have survived the harsh radiation of Jupiter, the cold of deep space, and pushed the boundaries of exploration. From planetary explorers to interstellar pioneers, their journey is a testament to the skill and foresight of those who built them. Sometimes the greatest discoveries are the ones you never planned for. Voyager's interstellar mission is a story of endurance and surprise. The data they send back helps us understand our place in the galaxy. Their journey continues, venturing deeper into the unknown. Voyager's odyssey is a reminder that exploration never truly ends. The great unknown still calls and Voyager answers. For years, the Voyagers sent back priceless data from interstellar space. Then, in May 2022, something went wrong with Voyager 1. The signal was strong, but the data was gibberish. The Attitude Articulation and Control System, or AACS, was sending back junk telemetry. This system keeps the antenna pointed at Earth. Without it, we'd lose contact forever. Mission controllers were puzzled. The antenna was still pointed correctly, but the data about its own health was nonsense. It was like talking to a friend who sounds fine, but insists they're standing on the ceiling. The data stream was filled with random numbers and repeated patterns, a mystery. At over 15 billion miles away, every command and response took nearly two days. Diagnosing a problem at that distance is like performing surgery on a patient across the solar system. The team had to be patient and methodical, sending commands, waiting, and analyzing the garbled response. Was it hardware failure, a cosmic ray, a software bug dormant for decades? The spacecraft was nearly 50 years old, its documents stored in archives, its original engineers long retired. The new team became detectives trying to solve a mystery on one of the oldest and most distant active machines ever built. The challenge was immense, but the team was determined. Voyager's faint whisper from the stars was a puzzle they had to solve. The stakes were high, this was our link to the edge of the cosmos, and the world waited for an answer. The investigation began. The NASA team dug into the past, searching for original schematics and documents. Many of the original engineers were gone. A new generation had to learn the intricacies of vintage technology. They studied decades-old code, trying to understand a computer system built before most of them were born. One theory, hardware failure. After 45 years in space, something could have broken. A cosmic ray, a failed solder joint. But the antenna was still pointing correctly, suggesting the core of the AACS was working. 
The problem seemed to be in how it was communicating, not what it was doing. Another theory, a software bug, triggered by a strange combination of events after decades of operation. The team looked for recent commands that might have caused the issue, but nothing stood out. The strangest clue, the garbled data was being routed through a computer that had failed years ago. The ADACS had started sending its data through a defunct system, a message diverted through a disconnected line. This was a key clue. The problem wasn't random, there was a broken logic to the failure. The team now had a focus, figure out how to command the AACS to use the correct working computer again. The investigation was a race against time and distance. Voyager's fate depended on solving a ghost in the machine. The world watched as the team worked to bring Voyager back. The solution was simple but risky. The team couldn't fix the broken computer but they could tell the AACS to stop using it. They crafted a new command send telemetry data through the correct functioning hardware. Every detail was checked. One mistake could make things worse, even end the mission. The command was sent across billions of miles. Then, the long wait began. Nearly two days later, the new data arrived. Clean, clear, perfect. The gibberish was gone. The fix had worked. Voyager 1 was back in business. A collective sigh of relief swept through mission control. They had reached across the solar system and repaired a 45-year-old spacecraft. It was a triumph of ingenuity and perseverance. This wasn't the first time the team had faced such challenges. In 2020 Voyager 2 experienced its own scare, a command error shut down its instruments. The team worked tirelessly to restore communication and bring the instruments back online. Each time they found a way to keep the mission going, carefully managing dwindling power and making tough choices. These events highlight the incredible durability of the Voyager probes, a testament to 1970s engineering. In an age of disposable technology, Voyager is a relic built to last. Its systems are simple, but tough. This hardy design has allowed it to survive for so long. Sometimes the best technology is the one that simply keeps working, year after year. Voyager's resilience is a lesson for the future. Today, Voyager 1 continues its journey into the cosmos, over 163 times farther from the Sun than Earth. Its twin, Voyager 2, follows on a different path, both exploring the interstellar medium. Their power is fading. Soon, we'll have to turn off the last of their instruments. Eventually their nuclear hearts will grow cold and their transmitters will fall silent. Their mission of discovery will end, but their journey will have just begun. They will drift through the Milky Way for millions, perhaps billions of years, cosmic fossils of a species that once reached for the stars. They will outlast us, the pyramids, maybe even Earth itself. Voyager's legacy is more than data or images, it's in the questions it inspires. It forces us to confront our place in the universe, reminding us how small we are and how vast the cosmos is. The Golden Record is a message of who we are, a greeting card to the universe. Will anyone ever find it? Will they understand? We may never know. Perhaps the real value of the message is for us, a reminder of what we can be when we work together. The Voyager probes are our legacy, the echo of our civilization, traveling on an endless journey through the stars. They tell the story of a curious species on a small blue world that looked up and wondered. And in that wonder, we found the courage to reach out, to explore, and to become a part of the cosmos. Voyager's journey is our story, one of hope, curiosity, and the endless quest to know.